over my years, I guess I shed it some tears. Looking, looking, looking back over my years, I guess I shed it some tears. Ah, uh, yeah. MC Pancho coming at you live with my homeboy Seven. Kicking this one for all my camaradas doing time. In the pizza. This one's for you. Check it out. Have so much pride, like my homeboys doing time up in the bay on a five, ten, twenty five to life stay. Or I live, don't let no one get you down because you know. What's up? This is MC Poncho. I'm kicking it on Third Street. I want to give props to Stranger TV for giving me this opportunity. Those of you that don't know who I am, I'm one of the first Chicano rappers, not the first, but one of the first, putting it down since 1988. Harbor Area Sounds mixtapes. Uh, back in the game, been touring Japan. Um, I'm back on the scene, Halified Records. And uh, like I said, once again, a much love to Stranger TV for putting it out there and uh, giving you guys this, uh, this little show we're gonna put on for you. Yeah, it's a little show. Check it out, this is my career. Those of you that don't know, these are Dayton's right here. Um, that's why I go by the name of Cadillac P, that's all I roll are Cadillacs. And if you're rolling a Cadillac, it's mandatory, you roll on the mustard and mayonnaise Vogue tires, 22 inch Dayton's, those are spokes right here. Got these on the Escalade right here. Now I'm gonna take you to my XLR. This is the new love of my life right here. Look at that. This is how I roll. Dayton's, Vogue's. I had to have these Dayton's actually made for this ride so everything could be smooth. I could do the ride and take the turns and all that. So this is what I do. These are my cars. Um, those of you know, I still have that black DTS front and back, side to side. It's not here today. It's in storage. I'll bring that out for the next one. And I still got the 96 Impala, the work car. I'll get that waxed up for the next one. see Pancho on the license plate. Chicano rap made me do it on the frame. I didn't bring the lowrider, but those of you know, I, I lowride on that DTS 2001, side to side, front and back. This is the pad right here. We're on 3rd Street. Come on in. Like, no, I know a lot of rappers out there claim about seeing about popping bottles. Well, I do pop bottles. These are the the Cristal 1993, the Magnums. I got the Louis the Thirteenth. Got the Ace of Spades with Jay Z pops. He ain't the only one popping Ace of Spades. I got the Dom Perignon Rosé. And uh, this is my pad right here. Got the liquor cabinet right there, fully stocked. You ain't popping bottles in this. Uh, those of you know I'm a big art collector. I got the homies drawing for me, some of the best artists all around, you know, that have been busted and doing time. I won't talk too much on that, but they know who they are. And uh, I'm very honored that they draw for me. And this is some of the artwork that you see on the walls. I'm very fortunate to have them drawing for me. Like I said, uh, they don't just draw for anybody, you know, and I got nothing but love for them for doing that. And this right here is a sacred room. This is a very, very sacred room here. Um, got some more artwork on the walls. Uh, got the wall of fame here. I won't speak too much on that. The, the pictures speak for themselves. Um, I'll remove this right here. Uh, come on in, stranger. And this is what we call the sacred smoke room. Those of you that have been in here, it's a very inspirational room. Um, a lot of writing has gone on in here. Different people have wrote, come in here and uh, just found themselves and had a little session and wrote. And um, I find it very sacred. It was my mom's room, so we call it Maria's Sacred Smoke Room. And uh, that's where you're at.
Yeah, my dad's right there on the wall, the pachuco right there. And the box, dang. That's cool, man. With a hat, this one right here. My That's like a, from the 50s on. 40s, he was 40s, original pachuco. He was the original pachuco. Oh, wow, man. And the, the some box. history up on this wall. Yeah, there's a lot of history on that wall. A lot. Wow. That's me in the middle right there, the little kid with my brother. Where, my brother was busted. Where was it they filmed colors? I know they filmed um, the scene out here. Two blocks over. Yeah, yeah all right. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? I was trying to Chicano rappers, like I say, I'm not the, I'm one of the first. I'm not the first. Um, 1988, I came out with these uh, old cassettes, the Harbor Area Sounds Collection. Uh, they were pretty much like a takeoff of the East Side Story. I did it from my area, the Harbor Area. And uh, the very first tape was actually made for uh, a little handicapped girl. So a friend of mine, he had a handicapped girl, and the money that I made uh, off the first tape, I uh, put in a little account for her, a little trust fund. And people were asking me when was Volume 2 going to come out, Volume 3, so I just kept going from there. And 30 tapes down the line, uh, the Harbor Sounds were out there. <laughs>